you very much, everybody. Um, first part of my presentation is all about me, sorry. Okay, um, I um, came to USA as an international student um, from China in, 2000, um, in August 2000. And then I stayed in University of Michigan for five years as a full-time student. So it's very uh, good and a very uh, big pleasure to come back to the hometown, you know, the place I once claimed as a home for five years, so it's really nice. And then I got my uh, master degree in electrical engineering in 2003, and I got my PhD from mechanical engineering in 2006. And even before that, before I get my degrees, I joined Daimler Chrysler in 2005. Um, at that time, Daimler Chrysler and GM and BMW, um, they have joined venture for two-mode hybrid. Um, you can see that three directors, they signed this contract, hired us to build up those new vehicle, new technology. And I worked on that middle, the, the transmission for um, three and a half years to control all the gears and the electric mode and decide when the engine will turn on, when the engine will contribute how much torque and how to split the motors for, um, for joint uh, effort to move the vehicle basically. And eventually we use those technologies in different platforms. And here is the um, Citizen Bench um, M-Class, um, ML450. And it's one of the platforms used. And we also use the same technology on the Chrysler Dodge um, and uh, um, also um, Chevy BMW platforms, okay. And then um, Daimler Chrysler just uh, got divorced because of the economic downturn. And I changed from Chrysler side to Daimler side, joined um, Citizen Bank's Research and Development in North America. It's <coughs> located in Redford. It's a relatively small location, um, a small organization there. Then I shift from hybrid electric powertrain, the relatively bigger system, to smaller, like Suvox kind of inverter system. Um, inside this in inverter, we have numerous of uh, sensors, voltage sensor, current sensor, temperature sensor, um, based on those input, and also we have CAN bus linked with the rest of the vehicle system to get torque command, get speed command, and so on, to drive the new vehicles. We use those technologies um, on mild hybrid, uh, up to 20 kilowatts, um, medium uh, hybrid up to uh, 50 kilowatts, and also on um, plug-in hybrid now, up to 85 kilowatts. Um, um, later I convert from an individual contributor as engineer to a manager. Now I'm in charge of a group to develop softwares for the electric motor controller, um, including all the torque paths uh, from torque command to PWM command to drive the switch, and also including the um, diagnostics to make sure everything's safe. Uh, if something's wrong, you have the safe state to save you to limp home. And also um, more and more on functional safety side, for high watt safety to torque safety. Uh, now back to ARC. Um, I want to review a little bit about my ARC experience. Um, I remember um, during my first semester, probably in October, 2008, uh, 2000, um, I came to Joran and Dennis Asanis um, to ask him for a job as a research assistant. And then I was given this task to simulate um, hydraulic hybrid delivery truck for the powertrain system. The idea is we use a pump. This pump can be also used as hydraulic motor. So when the vehicle breaks, uh, the energy from the engine can be used to charge the um, accumulator to press the gas there, to store the energy. When you use it, when you need to use it, then we release it um, through this uh, hydraulic motor to um, release the high pressure uh, fluid back to this low pressure reservoir in order to get this energy back. Okay, um, in a short um, period from October, November time frame to next year, uh, in May, um, Dennis um, gave this presentation as part of the case study. So um, we have a set of models. This model has been used to do dynamic uh, programming to get the optimal 
um, operating strategy for this truck. And then derived from dynamic programming, we get a very simple set of rules used for control purpose. Um, and then um, the whole study, um, as a result, uh, been published as a journal paper in a very short time. And then what I had learned from my ARC experience, um, first thing is my presentation skills. Um, in February time frame next year, 2001, um, we had the first uh, graduate student symposium. So every group that went to the go to the stage and make a speech, uh, make a presentation about your research in front of about 20, 30 students and faculty members. Um, that's my first presentation in USA in foreign language. This is really, really a big, big task for me, okay? Um, I'm sure I lost most of my audience and I scared to almost to death, okay? <laughs> and uh, um, fortunately, I was young. I was too young to have heart attack. So I survived, <laughs> okay? Um, this is a significant uh, um, milestone in my growth. It's like your first time to learn a bicycle, first time to leave home uh, to go to college alone. So this is really, really a significant milestone. And I overcome this milestone uh, from my ARC experience. Okay, um, now I keep my Chinese accent. Um, I still messed up with he and she. I still um, cannot pronounce TH very accurately. <laughs> but who cares, you know, um, this will not stop me from communicating with people. So, um, and also learn how to um, <coughs> find creative ways to present my ideas and my result. Um, for obvious reason, I did not win the um, prize for the uh, presentation part, but I win first place for the poster part. This was the original poster, um, give me that honor. Um, this poster was created as a joint effort between me, Jora, and also many contributors from other students. Um, from those exercises, I learned how to use those visualized effect to show your result. And thank you to um, William, created this very um, nice um, movie for me, okay? <laughs> Probably William can play it again, okay. You can see the, when, when the vehicle stops um, at, at a traffic light, you can see many contributors from other students, um, product accumulator. When it's accelerate, get the green light, it's released back to use the energy. So such kind of thing helped me uh, to get this first prize. I also remember Jordan giving me the idea to create the flap chart um, to put those picture together so we can have manually animated, animate it. So manual animation book um, that definitely give me more point, more vote to get that place, okay? <laughs> and also um, in the morning, um, we talk about, a lot about collaboration and teamwork between DOE and DOD and between different universities, but even at this microscope scale, at this very simple, um, project, I also learned a very important lesson about collaboration and teamwork within this given like, 10 months time period. By me alone, I can only do a very, very small part of it. But we set, set up a, a very effective team. For example, um, Julian from uh, Professor Penn's uh, group helped me to run pro, um, dynamic programming, and William helped me to create those presentations. And Dennis delivered the message to the, all the audience as part of his study. So it's really teamwork. And uh, think about it now, as a manager, you know, most of my time, you try to get those high-performing engineers work together. Each individual of, of them are very capable, but sometimes when they get together, it's become a mess. Okay. So it's really a learning experience. Okay. And also, um, ARC is very unique learning experience for me because um, here you have chance to get contact with all the information, all relevant information about automotive engineering. It's full coverage. And this advantage, you cannot find it in most of universities. So this is really a unique opportunity to learn everything about automotive. 
And uh, um, looking to the future, um, I'm still young. Um, I'm not old enough to write my driver yet, so I expect to have another 20 to 25 years of active professional life. So I'm always looking for opportunity to pay back to society because I received this education from this nice setup of university. So I really want to pay back, want to make my own contribution there. And I also want to say a few words to those newcomers, to those new face, young students recently joined the ARC. I believe your future will be brighter than mine. So by no means I'm claiming I set up an example for you, but my experience, my story can be a chance for you to look into your own future. Last words before I give the stage to the next speaker. Thank you, Joran, for your continued support, guidance, and also thank you for keeping me as your quarter member in the ARC family. Thank you, Anna, for the opportunity to share my story, okay? And um, thank you, ARC. Thank you.